Hey guys, welcome back. Bodie 101 here, and we are back in the world of Daybreaker on Feed the Beast Horizons Daybreaker. Uh, in between episodes, I did a bunch more pickaxing, and you can see I got some more stuff. But I think I got, I think, I hope I got exactly enough temporal nuggets that we need. So let's get back. We're going to jump right into it and get back to where we were. All right, there's that. Yeah, we got exactly enough. Okay, cool. So to make this one, we need two pieces of stone. To make this one, we need two pieces of redstone. So let's just grab that real quick. Uh, yeah, you can see I've dumped chest a lot of stuff off here. I just kind of do it again just to kind of clean things up. Okay, so we need some stone, and I think I put some in here. Did I not? Eh, whatever. <coughs> All right, so we're going to grab uh, two pieces of stone, and we're going to grab two pieces of redstone. And we're going to come over here, and we're going to go ramp, bam, bam, cool. We're going to put these here with this in between. That gives us one of them. Then this goes like so with the other one. That gives us the other one. And then we just need this, and we should be good to go to make this Chronomancer's Hourglass. All right. All right, you should click in there. Boom. Okay, so this is pretty cool. But, guess what? We need to make uh, some springs, uh, spring and whatnot. So, I'm going to grab... So it's going to be 8, 16. I want to make this good. I want to make this good. How much? Okay, there's 21 there. There's another 19 there. Let's go get this cooking. That'll actually give us a good amount. We can make a really decent spring for this. Um, what I might do while this is going is uh, possibly... Maybe I'll go make my gear right now. Okay, let's just make sure that these have enough juice in them. Boop. All right. Good there. We're good there. This is already processing. All right. Let's uh, let's do on so that it spreads it out. Okay. So we're going to let that iron go so we can make a really good spring. Let's do this. Um, oh, you know what? I just realized I left my thing down here all right you guys can see the uh little passageway i made back here this is where i just decided to go crazy and break stuff out but i forgot this okay all right so let's head back home all right here we go so let's head down see how our iron is going should be getting a pretty decent amount yeah we still got a lot in there okay so we're going to go work on our um, our clockwork. Let me see something here. Disassembler. You know what? I think I'm just, I'm going to make a disassembler. Okay. So I can, one, I can show you guys how it works. Two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sword that I was not a super fan of. And I literally just click it. And if you notice, everything comes out of it, right? So I can put this away. So I got myself a spring. And I got a clockwork. If I click the clockwork on here, it will give me back all of my gears. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is try and have... Let's look at the gears again real quick. So Thaumium we can't do. Tin we might be able to do. See, Rusty isn't that great. Ooh, temporal. Okay. That's what we need to make to get the memory. Okay. So we can do that. We can do that. Uh, steel. Uh, the diamond one was okay. Yeah, we'll make some diamond ones. Why not? Um, let's do eight. And let's grab eight of these as well. Okay. All right. So like so. All right, and then one, two, one, whoop, no, two, and split. Cool, okay. So let's try doing this again. 
So we're going to put in our rusty gear. We're going to put in our two diamond gears. I want to see actually how many we can fit in here. I think we might actually have the, the limit here. All right, so that gives us... Yeah, it's not horrible. I mean, you can see this is... Eh, it's not bad. It's not bad. So we'll, we'll, we'll take this. Okay, so we got that. While we're here, let's run down and grab our iron real quick. Uh, let's see. This seems to still be cooking out the last bits of it. I want to get as much as I can because I want to make this a very good spring. Because this, like I said, this is this is one of those things that I, I can say is probably one of the cooler things I've seen in a mod in a long time. Like, it, it's pretty, pretty solid. So, all right, so let's go up and get ourselves a really good tension on this. Probably at least equivalent to this bad boy, which we got to 3,400. So, all right, so we're going to pop into here. We're going to put our spring in here. And we're going to surround it, right? Click the button. Now we're at 1,800. We're going to go again. Click it. 34. You know what? I'm going to go two more times because we... 50,000 and... Yeah, that's nice. Okay. So, in here, we're going to go here. We're going to take this plus our clockwork. Gives us that. We take this plus this. Gives us that. So, let's take a look at that. It's not bad. It's not bad. The memory might have been a little bit of a waste on there, but whatever. All right. So, let's uh, let's juice this, this bad boy up. And then we're going we're gonna to really get into the fun of this. Okay. <laughs> so a lot of you are probably very curious what the heck this thing is, all these different symbols here. Well, if we take this and we throw this on one of the symbols, you're going to see it start to do some particle effects, right? And then if you notice, it changed. It actually has sand in it. Now, this is, the, this is probably my favorite one of all of them. And this is the one we're going to mess with. And this could end badly for me and you guys seem to enjoy that so if i right click um i'm flying now it's kind of weird because i'm not controlling my speed or anything this is all mouse my see left hand not on the keyboard not on the keyboard but we get to fly around and if you notice because we have a really good amount of tension on there this will basically go up until we either turn it off or we, uh, we run out of tension. And here's the cool part. I mean, okay, so it's, this isn't as cool as, say, like um, create a flight because I can't stop, all right? I can't just stop and hover. I can't build something in the sky and just hover around. But I'm flying at a really decent speed. It doesn't really seem to be affecting my hunger. And now let's let's see how this is where the park you get bad. So we come in for a landing and, and we just turn it off. That's it. We do that. We're good. So anytime we want to go exploring, boom, we're off. We're off exploring. Now the bad the other drawback is is I can't really look down if we're like looking for something. I can only look forward because if I look down, I just go straight down. So but I think this is going to be super duper handy. And then we just, we kind of need a place to land. So we got to kind of come in hot and click it off and then we're good. But you can see the, uh, we don't want to get stuck too far away. Now, once again, we take our little wine box with us and guess what? We don't have to worry about this running out. So, all right, we're going to come in and do a little land. Now we're going to do a little experiment. If I come up like this and then turn it off, I drop, but luckily we dropped into water. Um, if I didn't drop into water, I would have taken fall damage. Like that, right there. Okay. So let's go back in. And honestly, I don't know what all of them do. Um, I know what wind does. Let's go crank this bad boy back up. Oh, but we flew like an eagle, people. Do you understand that? Okay. So let's um, 
This one, I kind of know what it does. So if we throw the same one on there, we're going to get the particle effect. And it is going to change. There we go. Now, if I have this and I right click. Wait, why am I? Wait, 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 wait. Why did it not change? I thought it changed. Let's wait for the color to change. I thought once the color changed, we were good. Let's let it just have a little bit of extra juice here. Okay, so I pick it up. There we go. So if I right-click this, you're going to notice I've got regen. Boom. As long as it's got tension, I got regen. Now, it does run out a heck of a lot faster. <clears throat> so you can kind of see how this could be useful. Let's let's uh, We're going to take the time in this episode. We're going to experiment and find out what the rest of these do. All right, so we put it on the sun. Okay. We pick that up. Hourglass of light. Ooh, does this do what I think it does? Let's run down here real quick and do a little bit of a test. Switch. Okay. All right. So let's um. I'm gonna break some of these torches. Okay. So it's dark. Uh, what? Whoa. What is that? Hourglass light. Whoa, and that thing just stays there? <gasps> Are these unlimited torches? Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna jump and right click. Okay, can I only do one at a time? I can run through them and they light things up. Let's turn on F7. Okay, so we got this here, so I go Like that. Like that. Oh, that is cool. That is so... It's torches. It's unlimited torches, people. Oh, don't act like you don't care. All right. Let's see what water does. Back up. Let it get it while it juices up so on. Ah, Pepsi. Okay. So, water. Um, this makes me nervous. Oh, wait. I turned it on. Um, I got water breathing, kids. I got water breathing. I can go underwater and watch. Let's turn it off. Let's head out this way. Is it off? Oh, goody. We got baddies over here. Just die. Just die. Just die. Ow! Ow! Stop it! Stop it! Well, I had, wish I had the regen one on. All right, let's go find some water that's... Uh, I guess we can just go to this water. Let's eat up real quick. Yeah, delish. Okay. So we'll go down here. Let's turn off F7 because I don't need that on right now. <coughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's dig a hole. All right, so we go in here. Where's my bubbles? Do I not have bubbles? Okay. So let's see something here. Oh, this is so cool. Besides the fact that we have water breathing, even though we didn't have bubbles, which is very confusing. I am not getting any sort of slowdown. Oh, okay. That is so cool. Well, now, why did I not get the bubbles when it was not turned on? If I put this up here. That's weird. Am I just, like, immortal? Does anybody else find it weird that I'm not getting any bubbles? Like at the bottom of my screen. Oh, there. Okay, well, they're there, apparently. Ow. Thanks for rendering in, jerk hole. Jeez. Okay, let's teleport home. Okay, so. Let's recap thus far. We have ourselves regeneration, free torches, water breathing, and no downside to mining underwater. Okay. Good, good. Let's see what this one does. I think that's supposed to be a rock or a stone or something like that. 
this is pretty sweet. You guys have to admit, this is pretty sweet. Okay, so I think it's changed, and now we have the Hourglass of Earth. I don't know what it's doing. What did it do? Let's sleep real quick. Maybe this is a... Can it mine? What are you down there? Something bad down there. All right, so let's test it out here. So it's not on, so I turn it on. Um, no, it doesn't do that. I don't know what this one does. I don't have any status effects. Um, okay, this is interesting. I'm walking on air. So whatever level you are at, when you turn it on, okay, okay. Shifty, you're shifty, I tell you. All right, so if I come up here, right, and I turn it on. I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa! I'm walking on sunshine. Okay, so we were talking about how with the flight, we couldn't just stand there. So what, what happens? Okay, I can't place blocks. Like I can't place it like I'm on. So it's as if I'm walking on invisible blocks. Can I run? I can only walk at this pace. So that's kind of a downside. Okay, okay. So this is, this is interesting. You can dig this. Um, it almost, it, it, to you guys, it probably feels like slow flight, but I literally feel like I'm walking on, on nothing. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. And let's turn this bad boy off. Okay. So I don't know what that has to do. Well, I guess, I don't know. All right, let's charge this back up. All right. So we, we've already done. This is the flight one. Let's, uh, I'm assuming this does something with fire. Okay. All right. I have fire resistance too. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right. So fire resistance. Uh, the moon. I think I might know what this one does. Let's see. That's the one I'm the most scared of. All right. And now this one is the hourglass of the moon. Okay. I'm walking really slowly. When did I put that there? Um, okay, so let's head outside. It doesn't give me a status effect. Okay, okay, you ready? Alright, I get this. Okay, so I jumped off the edge. I'm hitting forward to move. This is just really weird, slow flights. I guess I'm just... Why am I so slow? Ow. Okay, that, that one's a little weird. I mean, I like I said, that one and the stone one I get just seems a little uh, odd. Okay, so the final one looks like some sort of death thing. And it's going to be hilarious if it literally just kills me. Okay, so we'll let that juice up. So it's going to turn like gray or black. Yeah, I think there we go. There we go. All right. The hourglass of death. Hunger, poison, but it gives me strength too. Of course, it doesn't seem like anything's going down. Like, down any more than normal. So let's shut it off. Okay. It's interesting. Okay, so if I, if I click it on, it shows I have this. Let's see what happens when he blows up. Oh, God, he killed me. He blew me the heck up. Okay. 
I didn't know if it gave me some sort of like immunity of some sort, but it looks like it literally just gives me hunger and um, and some sort of poison, but then in return it gives me strength too. All right, if I shut it off. I go back, I'm good. Okay, ow. Alright. Hmm. <clears throat> so, some of them are a little weird. Some of them... I could see, like, I, I kind of wish they had one of them that just, like, maybe slowly auto-fed you. That might be a good idea. Um, there seems... To, they, I think what they're trying to do is, like, with the flight, it's not... Okay, see, that's... What happens if I throw it here? Because see, it's weird because the center changed because it was something else at first. Oh, it took everything off. Okay. All right. So if I throw it here and I get the flight one, right? Let it finish juicing up. Okay. Now, will that change now if I throw it here? Does that change it to the death one, or does it just take the sand out? I think it just takes the sand out. Okay. So you can kind of see why it would be cool to have a few of these, right? Even though you can change them, I'd love to have the flight one on. You know, you can throw it in the old backpack when you're, you know, not doing anything. Uh, this would be great if when you're going to the nether. Uh, this would be great if, you know, you're battling anything. Um, the water one would be great, you know, if you're out exploring. This one's okay. It's kind of weird. So, I mean, it's cool. Like, oh, if you're mining. Yeah, that's what you want. Yeah, if you're going to go mining, that's the one to go with. Because, like I said, I don't have to worry about torches anymore. <laughs> and it's kind of cool because I can place these in the air. I just don't know how to control it. So if I'm looking up and click, where does it go? Wait, is this? Oh, I think it was this one. Yeah, that, that, not the light one. It, it was the uh, rock one that gives us that. That light one was the one that you could like weirdly walk off of things. Okay, so if I look up and click. Wait, is this? going on here which is the one that gives us light this is the of earth no it should have been this one why did I not place one of those blocks all right let's let it juice up okay where's the placing them okay the sands on Oh, there's one. Okay. And then it's on. Can I only do like a certain amount at a time? Let's go. Let's go back down to our turn. Sorry, guys. Like I said, I'm still free to shut it off. Let's fly down here and let's see if all the ones we place down here, because maybe it only sets. So many. Well, no, there's there's all the original ones I did. All right, so I'm down here. I'm mining. I'm minding my own business. Click. Click. Maybe it has to actually be dark. Okay, so it gets... Okay. All right, let's play with this real quick. All right, so I'm down here mining. Let's turn on F7, right? And I turn this bad boy on. I don't even have to place them. Anytime it finds that it's dark, it'll place it. Now it's not placing any. Oh, sweet mother of Modi. That is awesome. I am a big, big fan of that. So it took us a lot of work to get here, I must admit. Um, and what I'll probably do, I want numerous of these. 
think it's going to make things interesting. But I will promise, guys, next episode we are going to get into back into doing some mechanism. I have some uh, some pretty cool ideas, some things you guys suggested that I want to try out. Just got to replenish some of our ores and make a couple more machines. God, that looks so cool. So, all right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna end things right there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this was something that you guys kind of learned from and thought was pretty cool. So. Um, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Any questions, comments, concerns, leave it down in the comments section. And, oh, see, it was showing that, okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, comment section. And until the next episode of Daybreaker, I want to thank you guys for hanging out, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.